Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Border Hookups Go RVing. So today we are going to give you a tour of our travel trailer. It is the Rockwood Mini Light 2507S. I'm going to show you all everything on the inside and then Dave is going to show you everything on the outside. So the first thing I wanted to show you all is um, the couch. So when you walk in the door, we have a couch right here and it's a very, very comfortable couch actually. So it has a foot area, foot rest. Oh, no pedicure on my toes, don't show. <laughs> um, so this is really comfortable and Dave and I like to actually watch TV um, from right here or just hang out, it's very comfortable. Nice to have a separate little seating area. And then um, if you want to actually eat in front of the TV, which we don't do very often, but there is this little, I don't know, TV, TV tray, I guess, uh, would be what you would call it. So you can set your plate here and you can eat and uh, it's a really good surface to have. So that just comes off and then we store it in the storage that is underneath this couch which I will show you. So underneath here is a lot of storage um, and we just have some odds and ends under there that we don't have another place for. Um, and then this actually comes down in order to get our bed down. Um, we don't have the bed down throughout the day and we just thought that that was the best option for us because we wanted to have a small travel trailer. So with that, we can actually keep it up during the day and then just bring it down um, at night when we want to use it. And I'll show you that. Super easy, just flips down like that. And then I jump up here, unhook it all. Just has a couple of latches. Bring it down, it's a little bit heavy because we have not only a mattress on top, but um, we also bought a mattress topper because travel trailers have really hard mattresses generally, and uh, we wanted to sleep in comfort since we live in it. So this is what it looks like when it comes down. And I always just kind of make sure that that's not stuck in there. And there you go, all the pillows are there. So you just unhook the straps and uh, there's your bed. You can see that there's a beautiful window where you can see out and that's the only thing that's, you know, kind of, I don't want to say disappointing, but it'd be nice to have that window all the time um, because it's nice to look outside, but obviously you can't do that when you have the bed up, which is a good trade-off. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it back up. Um, the other thing that we have here are the cupboards on either side. Dave has his all organized and actually um, he has his organized in outfits, which I thought was really funny because um, he just can pick, you know, a whole outfit. Whereas I have mine all organized like socks in one and then pants in one and shirts in one because I might change my mind. Um, but he just grabs what he's put together for an outfit. So um, there are drawers as well. We both have our little um, bedside drawers that we can put uh, cords for our phones in and various items. He's got a fan in here in case he needs to get a little uh, cooling off. And um, what do I have in mine? Oh, my glasses and my uh, my mask because I can't sleep when it's light, so I need to have my mask on. Um, earplugs because I need earplugs. I'm a very light sleeper, so I have all of my sleeping accessories in that drawer. Also have a couple of windows um, that'll let the air flow in, and then Dave has. <laughs> taken over this balance for his, uh, I don't know, extra storage, which is kind of nice. And it's tucked away so you don't really notice 
it when it when you walk in so it's not really cluttered looking I don't think anyway um, and it's kind of nice because then he doesn't lose anything whereas he's always setting glasses down and and can't find them um, so now he can find everything okay so the next area I'm going to show you in our travel trailer is the um, dining room area um, there is a closet over here that I wanted to mention because there's extra storage and we have coats in here and then I put a little shelf for shoes so that I could have one area for shoes and Dave could have one area for shoes um, we like to take our shoes off when we come in um, even though it's a camper we are living in it so we kind of want to keep it clean so we come in and take our shoes off and then we bring them over here set them in there and then jackets as well um, and then I have a few dresses in there also and then this is our dinette area our dining room um, this is actually what's called a u-shaped dinette and it's one of the things I was looking for in a camper and it's really big you can actually fit I guess I would say six people around here and this is where Dave and I do a lot of our work when we're working during the day so we'll just set our computers out here and work from this table um, there's a light overhead which is a nice bright light that we can turn on and off um, just for a little bit of extra light and the emergency window is right here that lets in a lot of breeze so you always have to know where your emergency window is there's a little tab you can see on the other side that you would just pull out um, and then pull the screen out and away you go you can escape and I do have to say that we did have the fire alarm go off the other day when Dave was cooking <laughs> I blame it on him uh, no but he was he was cooking something and then it got smoky in here we didn't have all the windows open and so the smoke alarm actually went off and that's up here on the ceiling and you are actually supposed to test that every week and so we figured that we tested it because we <laughs> because it went off we just we just burn something once a week right once a week we just yeah, so you know we make sure that we burn something so mm -hmm. that we know that the fire alarm will go off <laughs> and we also use that emergency exit when we're feeling rebellious and we want to sneak out at night <laughs> we go through that it's like a basement window in high school sure i never did that i was an angel mm. <laughs> all right um so this table which i think is a really great feature this table actually comes all the way out so if you didn't have a table outside you could actually fold this up and you could take it with you outside and set it up outside if you needed it so that is a really great feature to have and i'm gonna pull it out here push it down And then um, this actually can push in here as well, and this will make into a bed. Oh, now I'm having to work. So anyway, it just slides in there, and then all of these come off. And, oh, wait a minute. Wait just a minute. It's just these two right here come off. And, I mean, look at the size of that. That's a great big bed. Think about this. I mean, two people can fit in here easily. And it, what's good about this is that this slide out actually, when it's in, comes all the way to about here. And then you can walk through to the bathroom um, so that if you were staying somewhere for the night like maybe a truck stop you could come in you could sleep here because the Murphy bed won't come down when the slide is in but this is always here so you can sleep on that and then you can also make your way to the bathroom so we thought that this model was fantastic because there may be times when we're somewhere and we can't put the slide out so um, we can just 
get on that and sleep for the night. The other thing I wanted to point out was the storage up here. So when we were looking for a travel trailer, we saw quite a few of them that didn't have this. Um, so I'm not sure why, but they didn't have the actual cupboards. They just had a panel there. So this one has cupboards with a lot of storage. So this is where we have our plates and bowls and cups and everything is in there, pans, pots all of that a lot of space saving um uh things that we have space saving dishes i suppose uh this one you know has a bunch of smaller ones in it which is great and everything that we got almost everything is plastic because we wanted to go really lightweight so our bowls for instance and our cups and everything these are all plastic we didn't want to have to bring anything that would weigh too much and, and weigh the travel trailer down. I'm so, showing the matching colors. Oh, okay, yes. This is my color that I chose for the travel trailer. And you'll see that my teapot and my mat are the same color as well. So just trying to have a little bit of fun with it. You know, I'm not a designer and I don't get really into designing or anything but it's kind of fun you know pick a color and have a couple of nice things so that is all of the cupboards and I also put this up and used some of the uh, velcro the sticky velcro 3m to put that up there so it actually pulls off which I'm not gonna do right now um, and then we're gonna add some other things here and there and just use that same sticky Velcro so that we can put them up. And again, they have to be really light because you don't wanna put something glass on there just in case um, it falls down. So here I am in our kitchen and obviously uh, it's a small kitchen, <laughs> but it's enough. It's exactly what we need. And there is some extra storage actually over here that I wanted to show you and I actually have a big pressure cooker in there and behind that I have a large pot and a toaster so all of that fits in there as well as blenders and everything down there so this actually gives quite a bit of storage for some extra um, pots and appliances and things like that um, and then we put these little hooks on so that we would have an area where our keys were that was right inside of the door. And that's been really helpful. So you don't have keys hanging out all over and you're not losing your keys. That's just something that we did. Um, there's a TV here that pulls out. You can watch it from the dinette or you can watch it from the couch. And we also have um, the Amazon Fire Stick for that. So um, I'll put my hotspot on, on my phone, and then we'll use the Fire Stick to watch Netflix or Amazon Prime or Hulu. So that's really nice when you have access, you know, when you have um, internet, uh, you can actually watch something on TV. So again, I just hooked it to my hotspot to be able to use the Fire Stick, which is really nice. All right. And then there are a couple of drawers here. So we have all of our cutlery in this drawer. It fits in there quite nicely. And then this is kind of a catch-all drawer um, that has remote controls and things like that. That's our catch-all. Try to keep it neat though. Um, and as you can see, there isn't a lot of uh, kitchen counter space. So we actually have an additional counter that Forest River has supplied to us so that if you are making a big meal and you need counter space you can actually just hook it on and uh, I can show you that how that works all right so here it is all right and see you can see where this hooks in to those right there I don't use this very often but it is definitely nice to have it. And oh, there we go. And then this just comes down. It's 
much as you need it and hooks in. If I can find the little doohickey, well, I'm not going to spend too much time doing that, but you just have to make sure it locks in and then you have an additional, I don't know, foot and a half of counter space there so that you can do all of your cooking, which Dave is going to do for tonight, right? You're, you're going to be the one doing the cooking? All right, well, maybe not. Maybe we're getting takeout then. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to put this away. Okay, so now we're looking at the rest of the kitchen. And uh, the sink has these covers over top. And I suppose that that might be so that when you're traveling, maybe you have dishes that haven't been done and you can kind of lock them in so they're not going to go anywhere. Um, you can also use this as additional counter space so you can set things on here. However, this is not a hot pad, so <laughs> you really should not be putting hot items on it, which I learned. And you can see I kind of melted it a little bit. This is meant to be a cutting board though, so you can cut on this. Um, but again, no hot things should be going on top of that. Um, just real quick, I also have these little um, nets or strainers, I guess, that go on the drains. And that's because you don't want food items going down into your gray tank. You really want to catch all of those and throw them in the trash. So um, that's something that I use. What else am I going to show you? The stove. Um, it's funny, I had a post the other day on Instagram and Facebook and you know it was me pulling something out of the oven that I had made and I said yes our V's have ovens too because we have a stove and we actually have an oven as well. Um, I did discover that a cookie sheet, a regular sized cookie sheet does not fit in that oven so you have to have something a little bit smaller. Um, you can fit a pizza um, pan. You can fit a pizza pan in there, but not a full cookie sheet. Has a glass top to it that you always have to make sure to bring up. And it's propane, so our stove is run by propane, as is the oven itself. On the back, I wondered what these little holes were when we first got this, and then realized that that's a knife holder, which is excellent that's a great use of space right there just to be able to put your knives there um, we also got this magnetic paper towel holder um, just so that we'd have a place for the paper towels and as you can see it's really sturdy like that is not coming off as you drive down the road that is staying on a light little microwave so if there was anything about this kitchen that I wish that I had, it would be a bigger microwave. This one's really small and it's up really high. So for me, I mean, I'm five foot seven. I kind of have to do this to be able to see what I'm doing. Um, but you know what? Do we really have to be glamping? Probably not. I can make do without a microwave or I can make do with a small microwave. It makes popcorn which is the most important thing. You have to be able to make microwave popcorn. So that's the microwave. Um, there is a stereo and you can hook this stereo uh, to the TV. So when you turn it on, you've got your AM, FM. Um, but once you hit this mode, you can actually go to several different things and TV audio two will actually get you the TV sound and there are speakers so you can see there's a speaker here there's one over there and there are two above the couch area as well <laughs> don't get dizzy <laughs> so um because when we first turned the tv on actually and we were going to watch a movie the sound was not good i don't think that's you know the great speaker in the in the tv so when we use these speakers is much, much better. And we have a Wi-Fi Ranger that comes in this unit. And so that's if you're at a campground and they actually have Wi-Fi, but it's kind of far away, 
you can use that Wi-Fi booster to actually be able to get the Wi-Fi from just from farther away. Um, haven't had to use that here because there's no Wi-Fi, but we will be using that in the future, I'm sure. What else do we have? Oh, we have another cupboard here, a little place for your sponges. And then I actually brought my entire um, holder for spatulas, flippers, all that stuff. Um, I also have a tray in here that holds things like can openers and a wine opener. Um, so there's a, a lot of space in there. Couple of windows, so that's another way you can get the smoke out when Dave's cooking. <laughs> um, or just to get some fresh air or hear what's going on outside. That's really nice as well. And then my favorite thing about this kitchen is the pantry. And when you open the pantry, it's motion activated, the light in there, so you can actually see that there's a lot of space in there. <laughs> and the broom actually fits right off in the corner here because what do you do with a broom, right? I mean, you need to have one. So it tucks away there, which is a great, great place for it. And I actually put a mirror on here because sometimes we're doing shows. Oh, hi, Dave. <sighs> um, sometimes if, if Dave and I are going to play a show, I kind of want to see if I'm coordinated or not, you know, gotta dress up a little bit when you're going to a venue, depending on what the venue is. So this is an over the door mirror that we bought. And then I used that, I guess, double stick tape or that Velcro um, for the side so that it does not move. Because again, you have to think about how you're going down the road and you're going through bumps and you know, the trailer is kind of rocking around so you have to make sure that everything is in its place that is the pantry would you like to see the refrigerator here's the refrigerator it's all locked so that the doors don't fly open when you're traveling um, I have one of the tension rods still on so that was something I didn't mention about the pantry either I have tension rods so that when we're traveling, things don't fall out. And I have tension rods that go in here. So I've got another one that goes here as well. And then, you know, we have this little um, thermometer in here to make sure that the temperature is, is correct. And we also have a fan. Ouch, just got hurt by the fan. So this fan, if you have your refrigerator jam packed, it's nice to have a fan to help circulate. And then the freezer is up here. Kind of small, but it has everything we need. A lot of frozen veggies. We've got some fish and shrimp, hamburgers in there. And this runs off of gas or electricity, either or. So this is our air conditioning unit. We have one hoping to have to use that because that means that it'll be hot outside. I cannot wait for summer. All right, and then the bathroom, as you can see. Come on in. Just wanted to show you, first of all, how much storage is in here. This is amazing. Suitcases, blankets, toilet paper, um, Dave and I have all of our dirty laundry in our laundry bags back here too. So it's actually laundry day tomorrow. So these are full and there's still additional storage in here. We tried not to store anything too heavy because the outdoor kitchen is actually below this outside, but there is just so much storage in there, which is great. And the other thing that I did to kind of modify this a little bit was this space was completely empty, but it wasn't a drawer. And so I thought, well, I want to be able to use that space. So I put a tension rod here just for when we're moving, but I generally leave that off. And then I bought this at Target and I have 
all of my toiletries in there. I have a blow dryer and a straightener and you know makeup and just everything. I have a ton of stuff in there and it's nice because I have access to it really easily. I can get to it and then um, with that tension rod I don't ever have to store it. I can just put that across and when we travel it stays in place. Oh, what else to talk about? A little bit of storage that we have in here. An additional cupboard. Um, you don't need to see all of our, not that we have medications, but it's just toothpaste and things like that. I see me. <laughs> in there. And then our shower. It's nice to have a shower. Um, this has what's called a shower miser. So when you flip this up, you turn on the hot water, it actually will keep it, I don't even know exactly how it does it, but it doesn't allow the water to come out until it gets really warm. And you can tell it's warm when this turns white. And then I'll turn the cold water on as well. And then when I press that down, whoops, all the water will then come out. So it's just a way to, I guess, save water when instead of running it and running it until it gets to the temperature you want that's what you would use has a skylight lets in a lot of a lot of sunlight and then i don't know if you can come around here but one more big cupboard in here that has all our cleaning supplies some additional toiletries and then all of our towels that are in there as well how do you know if the water's running? Oh, if the water is running, you can hear it. So actually, let's listen for the water pump right now. <gasps> so that's something to get used to. And actually, Dave and I are so used to that now that we went to a friend's cabin and ran the water and we were talking about how strange it was to not hear the water pump kicking in when we were washing our hands. So, uh. Hey everybody, welcome to Villa de Rocky. I don't know if that makes sense, but this is our mobile little tiny camper. Well, not too small, it's 26 feet tongue to tail, meaning the outside part is 26 feet. The actual livable space inside did I say livable or livable? Livable space inside is actually 23 feet. So I'm gonna do a quick tour. Um, it's nothing fancy, nothing sexy, but it's ours and we love it. So our first thing that we look at is the front and this is our power jack right here. Our 30 pound LP tanks, we have two of them. We have our batteries back here, we have two AGMs. This is one of my favorite things is our bike rack and I had to modify it because it was too low and it would hit the tires would hit the uh, back of our truck. So we had it extended and now it hangs up super, super high. So I might have to cut it down and meet in the middle ground on this one. So this is our, our jacket bike rack. Our mountain bikes go on that. We have to have our bikes because we love biking. This is our big window in the front that you, we can use when the, um, when the bed is down. Otherwise you can't see this from the inside. We love this, love to wake up in the morning and see the wild turkeys out in the front and the deer out in front of our camper. Um, I'll show you. Around here we just have some storage. Have storage right under here. Just some bins. Have our toys, our frisbee, our baseball gloves, our baseball. And uh, yeah, just odds and ends. A little fire starter brick. Good place that it sits right under our bed. But you know, what are you going to do? And then they just have bins labeled for, you know, one, two, three for water power, odds and ends tools, things like that. It just shuts up like this. This is actually our pass through. This goes under our couch, which is kind of neat because we can also get to this by lifting um, our couch and get all the stuff out of there too. And we just have our permachill cooler, which we love our permachill cooler because it keeps everything really, really, really cold once it's sealed up. Um, Love our stairs. Our stairs are so, so cool because um, they actually fold up into the camper like so. I'm not gonna put them up though because when they have dirt on them and you haven't swept them off, the dirt then goes into the camper. But we love this because you don't step on it like a spongy step. Uh, it's just a solid, solid step. And the other cool thing too is if we say we're 
um, staying at a Walmart, they swing up into the camper, which kind of gives a second barrier. So if anybody would try to come in, they would have to run into the stairs. We don't really worry about that stuff anyway. And Jacqueline's filming right now, and she's watching as all the bugs are currently flying into the camper. So I'm getting this look that I better shut the door now. Shut the door. <laughs> and our little handle. We actually modified this too. Uh, my friend Bobby Oman came over and we, we modified this and strengthened this because this was loosening up. Just goes like that when we're traveling down the road. We have our little table. And this is one of my favorite things right here is this is a, a little cradle for a five gallon water jug. We found these when we were in Canada and some of the people in Canada had this and we thought it was so cool because you just get one of these little spouts and then you have your water ready to go. The only problem is if it's hot out, obviously this water doesn't stay real cool, but on days like today when it's, you know, 60 degrees, it's perfect. We love it. Have our little table that um, slides onto the, onto the camper. I just I have to say one thing. Yeah. Everything is little. Everything so far has been little. Everything I is little. Like <laughs> Every, well, it is little. Yeah. <laughs> Everything is little because it's a little camper. So they just make little tiny things. The only thing that's not little is us in there. <laughs> but honestly, we're never inside the camper very often. Um, we go in there and work if it's sunny and we need to see our computer screens. Other than that, we, we work in our, our screen tent if you want to go look over here. That's our screen tent. And that's, uh, we love that thing, that our little screen tent. It's our little <laughs> screen tent. Yeah. So then we have our grill over here, our massive grill right here. It needs to be clean. Um, but we love it. We use this a lot. This is probably one of the things that we use the most. And it all hooks right to the camper. But I was talking about the table, and the table I thought was kind of funny that it was such a small table, but what would you use it for? We actually use it a lot. This is, well, not right now, obviously. We have it kind of set up for the tour, but we use this a lot for, for liquids, or the liquids don't go up here, I should say, because um, this is kind of the electronics area, and then the liquids all go on the white table down here because we don't want anything spilling down. So you kind of come up with these systems to protect yourself, and we keep finding new and new, newer systems for that stuff. And then we come back here, um, and this is one of my favorite spots right here, is the outdoor kitchen. And this baby just flips up like this, and the stove comes out. We've probably shown this in other videos, but it's just like this, yeah. And the stove comes out, and then there's a fridge like that, opens up, and we can keep you would be you're be amazed how much stuff we can put in here, and then it doesn't have to all sit in the in the inside fridge. So we use this a lot. Um, we have our cupboards like this. Ooh, what do you have in there? Yeah, we have my uh, my little my little drink mixes that I get at the store to make my my water bottle taste delicious. Um, have some pop cans in here and um, Reynolds wrap. When we first started looking at campers, I I was. Like why would you need an outdoor kitchen? Why would you need an outdoor fridge? And now I completely get it. We love our outdoor kitchen. It's, it's amazing. And one cool thing about this kitchen, other than this overhang, the awning, the awning actually goes all the way to the back. So the awning covers the outdoor kitchen as well, which is a huge deal that we like. We have a friend uh, who has an outdoor kitchen, but he his awning only goes until the outdoor kitchen starts and he doesn't understand, nor do I understand why you wouldn't have the awning go all the way. Cost cutting, I guess, but I'm not a designer, so I'll let them worry about that. So then you come around the back, and this is where we park the bikes for the quick getaway. Just like Chips, Ponch and John right here. It's Jack owns bike, my bike. This is also the outdoor shower area, which is really cool. I just have a strap to the ladder, um, and then we have that little fake piece of grass, but I pull it up so it doesn't you know, wreck the grass too much and let it dry out. Well, it's not really grass. Mm -hmm. so um, and then our ladder that goes to the roof. The biodegradable the soap there. Yep, biodegradable camp suds. I love the camp suds because you can use it for everything. And so you just kind of, it's interesting because you, you live around your camper, but then all of a sudden you realize that your camper can go 70 miles an hour down the road and, and all this stuff goes inside, gets tucked away, and then it's mobile. And that's one of the coolest things about living in a camper it's mobile. You can pick up and go anytime. So you come around here, and, and uh, one of the things about being out here is you don't have a mirror. So we just got one of these suction cup mirrors. Say hi. 
<laughs> we have one of these suction cup mirrors that we just kind of hang on the back so that we can, or I can, Jacqueline doesn't really get ready out here, I do. Um, and then I can see what I'm doing on my mug. Um, yeah, and then we just have our, our black water, uh, the, the spinner inside to help clean the black water tank. We need to do that one of these days. Come around here where the black water is, it's garbage. We grab that, get that out of the shot. And we have our water connection for the city. Right now we're not hooked to city water. So we have to run down the road about a quarter mile and fill five gallon water tanks and then, or water jugs and then we pour those with a huge funnel into our fresh water. Um, satellite cable hookup. We actually don't watch a lot of TV. If we watch TV, we have a fire stick that Jack one bought um, and we watch Netflix and things like that. Or we watch a stack of DVDs that we brought from home for the days that we don't have coverage. We brought, we brought the DVDs. Um, and then antifreeze, that's, that stuff's just whatever. And our hot water heater coming around. Those are our tires right there. We upgraded our tires, we like our tires. Uh, I need to throw covers on these though for the sunlight. Um, I was thinking they were more under the under the uh, slide out, but I just realized looking at it that they're not. This is Jacqueline's office right here through this window. Um, mine's on the other side. I do not get a window. She gets the corner office. That's the way it worked out. <laughs> but you can open this for airflow. It's kind of nice. And then we have storage down in the uh, slide out and then a long storage and that's where we keep like mic stands and speaker stands. Odd things that just don't fit anywhere else go in the in the, the tall unit. And then a window in the slide out which we will love to have open when it's uh, nice out and you just want to air out the camper. The idea is to not run the AC if you don't have to. Don't run the heater if you don't have to. Um, we've been up here for a month, almost a month, and the first three weeks were cold. I'm talking 20, 25 at night, and then it snowed one day, and we had to run the, the furnace, but that's a lot of LP, so you have to make sure that um, you just try to use blankets and to warm up and then open windows and things like that to, to cool down. Another nice thing is, we kind of, I kind of forgot this when we walked by, is we have a, 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 a mount for so we can watch TV outside. Again, we don't watch a lot of TV. We watch, Actually, we watch RV videos. <laughs> it's kind of what we do, we watch a lot of RV videos. Um, still, even though now we live in the RV and we, we know a little bit more, we don't know everything. We're, we're pretty new at this. We've Like I said, we've only been on the road for almost a month and it hasn't even really been the road. It's been staying at a remote location for a month. We haven't really been traveling. We're hoping to, we're hoping they open the Canadian border because we're supposed to go to Canada. Jacqueline is Canadian and we're supposed to go there in July. So we're hoping the border's open, which means that things are going in the right direction, which means everybody's winning. So that's good. Um, but we have outlets out here. Those are nice, uh, the outlets are great. You, it, you, the, all these little things that you don't really realize that are going to be important that you take for granted at home um, are great. And I had talked about this in another video about well, the things that you really notice and one thing is how much water we use and I had said that I remember two videos ago that we use a lot of water and you don't realize how much water you use and we probably use a lot less water here because we don't take baths. The toilet flushing isn't you know 1.2 gallons per flush like some of the ones at home. Um, and we, we use a lot of water and we're filling up probably every three days. We have to go fill our tank, our tank 60 gallons. We also have speakers out here. Um, again, we haven't used them. We have a little Bose speaker that we use. We love this Bose speaker. We use it for white noise at night to help us sleep so the woodpeckers don't wake us up in the morning. And then uh, we just carry that out here. To be honest, that's what we use. We really don't use our outdoor speakers. Um, Bose makes great stuff, so we just use that. Another thing that we got, and we apologize for the wind, where it's, the wind just picked up towards the end of us shooting this video. One other thing that we love is our rug. Um, it seems so, I don't know, I thought they were kind of cheesy with, about having a rug outside of your camper, but to be honest with you, it's a, it's a heaven sent because you can take your shoes off and you don't drag everything into the house. Because one thing you'll understand, when house. you start RVing, see now we call it the house, we used to call it the <laughs> camper into the house. Um, is that so much stuff gets dragged in and you're constantly sweeping. Now sweeping only takes about 35 seconds to be honest with you, but you have to do it. So we love this rug to be able to stand on and uh, we pop our shoes off when we go into the house and yeah, 
love the rug, it's worth it. Up in Canada, uh, we kind of found these because up there they use the, um, from the, from the factory, they use the old dryer sheets that they throw away from the, uh, the pulp mills and they spread those out and they're kind of porous. And so this is kind of that same concept. When it rains, it goes through. Um, the only thing that we found is that when it snows, when it snowed that day, this is icy slick. I mean, you step off those stairs and you're basically a polar bear growing, going across the ice. So they get slippery, but that's, but they're great. Thank you so much for watching. Please, please subscribe and ding that button so that we can notify you as to when we have episodes coming out. And we love, uh, we love doing these. We are having a blast doing it. We're learning as we go, but you know what? That's what life's all about. Take care and we'll see y'all out there.